Hello everyone. This video would focus on reflection across the x-axis or y-axis and this is the first part. Now we remember that when we say reflection, the other word for that is flip. Or by definition, reflection is a type of transformation where an object is flipped across a line, which is called a line of reflection. So in this part right here, we will have reflection across the x-axis and reflection across the y-axis. So let's take this first example right here. Graph the image of the given pre-image below using the transformation given. Reflection across the x-axis. Now we remember that if we say reflection across the x-axis, one figure is above the x-axis and the other figure is below the x-axis. So this is our x-axis right here and we got a, a picture that is below the x-axis. We are supposed to come up with an image. So this one right here is called a pre-image. So I'm just gonna label that um, down here, so that's the pre-image. Again, pre-image means it's the original um, figure. So then if we have the pre-image right here, we are supposed to uh, reflect it across the x-axis. So if we have this original picture, we flip it across the x-axis. So if I were to flip this triangle, it's going to go up here. So this will be um, the location of our image after reflecting it across the x-axis or after we flipped it across the x-axis. So pretty much this will be our uh, point A. Since this is our A, it was reflected across, it was flipped. So this will be our A prime. Again, prime represents the image or the new picture. And this is our B. If it doesn't, if it doesn't have a prime, then that means that's the original coordinate. So that means we reflect it across. So this will be our uh, B prime. And so um, this one right here would match up to C prime. So pretty much what's going on here is that it was flipped. So this is our A and this is our A prime. This is our B and this is our B prime. This is our C and this is our C prime. So then if we are going to draw the tr uh, triangle here, which is the reflected triangle, or we call this as our image. So this is our image right here. So then we go ahead and say that the coordinates for the image would be, we write A prime, B prime, and C prime. Again, these are the coordinates of the image. Okay, so looking at this um, picture right here, our A prime is at two, two. So I'm gonna write two, two right here. And our B prime is located on two, five. So that's two, five. And our C prime is located on five, five. So this is five, five right here. Now, please notice that the distance from the x-axis to each of the vertices here are equal. What does that mean? So the distance from the x-axis to A is two units here, and that's also two units to A prime. The distance from B prime to the x-axis would be one, two, three, four, five. That would also be five for the B here. So that's the X axis, one, two, three, four, five. So pretty much when we say reflection, the distance of the image and the distance of the pre-image would be the same from the X axis or from the line of reflection. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. So we're supposed to reflect this across the y-axis. Now, please remember that when we say reflection across the x-axis, one figure is on the left of the y-axis and the other figure is on the right of the y-axis. So pretty much right here, we have a, a figure on the right of the y-axis. It says y-axis. We're supposed to draw another figure that is on the left of the y-axis. So without having to um, use a um, picture, we can actually draw or we can actually uh, plot the uh, vertices of the triangle 
on the other side by counting the distance from the y-axis. So pretty much if this is our y-axis right here, we go ahead and say that is one, two, two units to the right. So I go two units to the left, one, two. So this will be our b prime. And so we do the same thing for C. If we count C from the y-axis, that would be one, two, three, four, five. Five units to the right. So I go five units to the left to get C front. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So this is where our C prime is gonna sit. And from the y-axis, we have one, two units to the right. So I go two units to the left. One, two, and this will be our a prime. So we can connect these three dots together and so this will be our image. And this one right here is our pre-image. Again, we remember that the definition for pre-image is that it re is referred to as the original figure while the image is the transformed or the new figure. So then we can go ahead and test this if it was reflected um, across the y-axis. So if we have the pre-image right here, we are supposed to flip the triangle, flip it across the y-axis, so flip it side to side. So if we were to flip this, it's gonna go this way and it's gonna fit on the other um, triangle that we have created on the side. So then we are now ready to determine the coordinates of the image. I'm just going to write that down here. Okay, so looking at this, our A prime is located at negative 2, negative 2. So that's negative 2 and negative 2. Our B prime is located on negative 2, negative 5. And then our... Um, C prime is, this is by the way negative as well, so negative 2, negative 2. And so our C prime as well would be negative 5 and negative 5. So this is negative 5 and negative 5. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!